Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. In this tutorial, I will tell you about multi-line text. And multi-line text are generally large pieces of text which are inserted in AutoCAD. For example, if you want to insert a paragraph or a bill of material or a very large piece of information like copyright information or some information about the drawing, then you should use multi-line text. But in case you want to enter a very specific, very short piece of text, then you should go with single line text. And I've covered single line text in a separate video. The link for that video you can see on screen right now. So if you want to learn about single line text, you can click on that annotation on the screen right now. So for multi line text, you can type M text on command line. So let's type M text, M text and press enter. And this multi line uh, cursor will prompt. Now there is another method of starting multi line text. So you can go to annotation panel of home tab and click on this text icon and this small arrow. So now here we have this multi line text. You can click on this multi line text and now you can see that this cursor now changed to point, point selection cursor and now we can start our multi line text. This is also indicated by the command line. You can see M text is activated right now. And now let's look at the third method. We can also go to annotate tab and on annotate tab you'll see here multi-line text. So click on multi-line text and now look at the command line. It's prompting you to select first corner point. So click anywhere on the screen to start your multi-line text and now it will prompt you for the second corner. Right now ignore all the options which are present here because we can change all these options from a ribbon, a temporary ribbon, text editor ribbon which will appear in a moment. Now click at other corner. It hardly matters where you click. It will always make a default sized uh, text editor window. Now in this window you can enter your text and look at this top panel. Now you can clearly see that there is a temporary tab of text editor which appears. So now let's enter our text. AutoCAD 2015. Okay, so now here we have our text and you can see that this text editor has got many uh, symbols or many tools which are quite similar to our MS Word or Microsoft Word and yes, they will work in the similar way in which MS Word works. So we'll explore uh, most of them in this tutorial. So right now, once you select this AutoCAD 2015 text, you can make changes to that text. So let's make some changes to this. Let's look at this style panel. On this panel you'll see that the standard is activated that simply indicates that this text which is selected only AutoCAD is of standard style. Also obviously this complete text is made with the standard but now this one is standard and you can change it to annotative if you want. Right now I'm not going to change it. If you have multiple styles you can change it. The next one is your text height. So now if you want to change text height, you can change it. I'm changing it to 0 0.2 and press enter. So now you can see that this text, small text written as AutoCAD is of 0.2 height and this one is of 0.5 height. If you want to make, make this text annotative, you can also click here and the text will be turned to annotative text. But that we don't want to make right now. So I'll now change it to 0.5 again. And now let's look at other options. So this one is bold. This one is italics, strike through, underline, overline and if you want to make uh, the text stacked then also you can use this stacked text and this is superscript, subscript and if you want to change case of this text like uppercase and lowercase then also you can select these options. So These options work in a similar way like MS Word works and you can see that they are working in a similar way. So you can go on and experiment with these options, they are quite easy to work with. Now the next option is the font. Right now Arial font is selected. You can select any other font from this uh, drop down menu and that font will be applied only to your selection. You can clearly see that the font is not applied to this 2015. It's getting applied only to this piece of text which I have selected. Okay so let's apply a uh, normal type of font. This seems okay to me. Now the next option is for changing color. So if you want to change this color you can select this and the color will be changed. If you want some other color, okay. And if you want more colors, you can go to more color and you will get many plenty of options to select from. Now let's look at justification. So for justification, we need to expand this text box. And now you can see that this text is aligned at the left 
of this box top left of this box for this case I'll select this complete text and click on this small arrow at justification right now you can see that this is aligned at top left let's go to top center and you'll see that the text now moves to the center of this box let's go to top right and now it moves to the right to make it more clear let's drag it down and now let's see this so here we have and you can simply say that what these means so middle right takes it to middle right bottom right takes it to bottom right bottom center so let's move it to top center and now the text will always be at the center no matter what you type afterwards so if I'll type AutoCAD again then also it will remain at the center you can increase length of this box using this ruler okay so now here we have these text if you want you can also add bullets and numbers to these text so let's select both the text P, both the text press enter and now here we have this text oops it's uh, divided into multiple columns because the height was not sufficient so let's drag it and now it will adjust itself so now here we have these four lines of text if you want to make them bulleted then select them and apply bullets so bullets can be applied in the form of numbers like this or they can be applied in the form of letters or they can be applied in the form of these black dots right now you can see that they are quite uh, uh, they are not arranged in a proper way just because of justification so now you can go on to justification and change it to top left and now you will see that they are arranged in a proper way now so in this way you can change bullets of these text you can also change line spacing from this right now it's at one times or the default line spacing if you want to make it to 0 0.5 1.5 times 2 times 2.5 times you can change them but we are not going to change this for now and I'll also avoid bulleting it so I'll make it off and now here we have this default text so if we want to enter more number of columns that also we can enter but before entering columns we need to have a large piece of text right now we only have four text uh, four lines of text let's enter a large piece of text so you don't need to type anything if you want to enter large and if you have large piece of text written on a notepad you can directly enter it so for entering a large piece of text go to this find and replace icon the uh, actually on tools panel on which you will find this find and replace and click on this tools and click on import text I have uh, a short piece of text on notepad file on the desktop so you can locate to the place where you have saved your piece of text and on this text file I have short description of AutoCAD uh, which is one is which one is acquired from Wikipedia so now let's double click this and once you do this you'll see that the complete text now gets entered here oops it's long 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 piece of text okay and it automatically gets divided into two columns now if we if you just don't want it to be divided into two columns you can expand this and uh, once you expand it you'll see that this text gets entered into this and let's expand this one also and you'll see that this sh column will become short and it will vanish ultimately so this is dy dynamic column which will adjust its size according to this text editor window now if you want to divide this complete text into multiple columns then go to columns and static column and change number of columns that you want right now let's select two and you can see that now your text complete paragraph is divided into two columns although these two columns are not uniform you can make them uniform by dragging this text editor so let's drag this and now you can see that this has got a uniform amount of text in each column in this way you can enter multiple columns and to exit this you can click outside anywhere and here we have this complete text okay so let's select it and erase it so there is one more thing that I would like to tell you and that is entering symbols you don't have many symbols on your keyboard and if you want to enter symbols like degrees degrees or uh, symbol for diameter that you can also enter in AutoCAD so for that first let's go to multi-line text and make our text box and let's enter 30 degrees we can enter 30 but for entering degrees you need to go to this symbol icon so go to symbol and now here you'll see degrees
So click on it and you'll find that it has been entered. Now similarly, if you want to enter the symbol of diameter, you can go to symbol, look for the diameter symbol and here we have. So there are many other symbols that you can use from here for example the symbol of ohm. Now if you want symbols which are not present in this library then you can go to other and you'll find plenty of symbols here. So now you can select from all these symbols and these symbols are font specific. So if you'll change font symbols will also change. So I hope this is clear to you and if you have any doubt uh, please let me know in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and th once again thanks for watching.